Over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me my opinion on the new Xbox 360 trailer for Banjo-Kazooie 3. Or Banjo 3E, or Banjo-Kazooie 360, or whatever the hell it is they're going to call it. Well, when I say they've been asking me about the trailer, to be more accurate, they've been asking me about one particularly controversial scene from the new trailer. But before we go into that, here's a brief gaming history lesson for those of you who never owned an N64. See, during the 90s, a company named Rareware were a very successful second-party developer for Nintendo. Especially during the N64 era, where they only seemed to be able to produce classic after classic. For example, during that period, they made the excellent Goldeneye, and the even better Perfect Dark, and the cult classic Conker's Bad Fur Day, and, of course, my personal favorite, Banjo-Kazooie. And that's not even half of the excellent games they developed. In fact, during the N64 era, you could argue that Rareware were actually a better developer than Nintendo themselves. However, after the N64 era, for some unknown reason, Rareware and Nintendo seemed to have a bit of a falling out about something. And so the two decided to part ways. And so we arrive back in the present day, where Rareware have changed their name to Rare and are now making games for Microsoft. Which is what I think makes the upcoming scene in this trailer so controversial. Now, look closely or you might actually miss this. Okay, now, if we freeze it there, you can quite clearly see that they've put up a sort of brick wall thing to look like Mario. Which at first I thought was pretty cool, because... I figured it was a kind of kickback to Banjo-Kazooie's origins back in the N64 days, which was pretty cool, I thought. However, that's not strictly the case, as if you look closely here, you'll quite clearly see Banjo launching a missile at the Mario statue and blowing up its head. See there? Quite clearly, Headless Mario. Now, after watching this video on YouTube, I've decided to stick a few of the comments that it was getting into this video so that you can get a better idea of what the general public has been making of it in general. Gay ass game. <clears throat> Mario owns. What have they done? Why are have Mario been decapitated? Can someone tell me? Thanks, Microsoft, for ruining Banjo. So, on the whole, not very favorable feedback from it, I think. As for what I think of the whole thing, well, to be honest, I've got a bit of sympathy with Rare, because I don't think it's as bad as everyone's been making it out to be. I mean, for a start, Nintendo don't really seem to mind people making fun of them, and in particular Mario. I mean, if you look for Mario on the YouTube search engines, chances are the first video you'll find is something making fun of him for eating mushrooms and being a drug addict. And let's not forget that this isn't really the first time that Rare has done something like this. I mean, whenever they were still with Nintendo, the original Banjo-Kazooie had a giant toilet that kept complaining about how Mario and Luigi never came to unclog him. I mean, they are meant to be plumbers, after all. And, of course, the very first thing you actually see in Conker's Bad Fur Day is Conker taking a chainsaw to the N64 logo. Stupid logo! Although, admittedly, whenever you're doing it on a rival's console, you should be a lot more subtle about it. However, there's something else that I'm finding much more worrying about this trailer. And that is that, well, Banjo-Kazooie was actually supposed to be a platformer. And in this trailer, the only part where he's actually doing any platforming is... This jump! The rest of the time, he's either driving around GTA-style, or customizing his ship, a la the gummy ship system from Kingdom Hearts. Neither of which I'm a really big fan of. I mean, the original Banjo-Kazooie was pretty much pure platforming bliss. 
I mean, the best way I can think of describing it is that it made me feel like I was playing a very good Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Which is not really a feeling that I'm getting from the new trailer. Since the only game that actually has good GTA parts is actually GTA. And, well, the gummy ship system from Kingdom Hearts was definitely my least favorite thing in the game. However, knowing me, I'll probably end up still getting the game even if it does end up sucking. But you never know, if they keep the original characters, it still could end up being very good. And after all, I did have the exact same worries with Jack 2, and it actually ended up being my favorite one of the Jack and Daxter series. So I'll save my final judgment until I play the finished game. However, I will say that the trailer has made me look forward to it a lot less than I originally was. Also, why does Banjo look so square now? Also, since Kazooie lives in Banjo's backpack, and it doesn't have a hole in the bottom of it, where the heck does Kazooie poop? Also, you know the game over scene where Grunty actually wins and steals Tootie's beauty? Why does she start talking like she's getting f 